hello, how are you, and what's the crack? Uh, lockdown is still going on here in Ireland, and I'm kind of like going a bit mad, so uh, I decided to make a weird little video. Uh, kind of showcasing a, a funny website I've seen called uh, Calligrapher, which helps you quickly make uh, your handwriting into fonts. But uh, I've also been buying stupid things on Amazon because I have nothing to be doing with myself, uh, other than sitting at home going mad. So I bought uh, one of these bad boys. I don't know if anybody's aware of these little yokes. You might have seen them at school. They're like little uh, little embossed label maker. So I kind of decided uh, I'm gonna give it a shot, see if I can make a like a, an embossed label font out of this website calligrapher. So uh, without further ado, let's give it a shot and see how it goes. So here we have it, the Dymo label maker. Looks like a little gun. You just feed uh, a little black tape into the uh, the handle there, and then you choose your characters, pull the trigger, it stamps them onto the uh, the tape, and Bob's your uncle. So I want to make like a little font out of this, and we're gonna have to basically just go through every character in the alphabet, stamp them real hard so they look nice and bold, kind of like this, and then we're gonna cut them out. So let's go. Oh yes, that was satisfying. I kind of noticed something here though, that um, I didn't leave any gaps between the letters. I want to cut these out individually. Uh, I'll put them out here. So yeah, you can see there's not really enough gaps without putting a space in between them yourself. So I'm gonna run through them all again. But before that, I'm just gonna whack this little bad boy here. Mm-mm, that's looking slick. Now, so I've popped them all out and uh, added like a gap between each one I've added in some characters and numbers but when we look at the font website here I'm not sure if there'll be enough space so I'm just gonna cut these out individually now yeah it kind of seems like there's enough space on these so I'm just gonna pop into calligrapher we're gonna start using the app you just sign up and make your own accounts uh, it's free but you know you don't have so much control but you just basically create a template here and we're gonna print that out then so Minimal English characters, uh, we've got a couple of different punctuation marks, some numbers, and your letters all in uppercase. There's only uppercase in this label maker, so that's all we really need. So yeah, I'm just gonna make the template cells a bit small, because this is gonna print out A4. I'm gonna name it label, label font, and we're gonna download that. So you, we'll get this as a PDF, and uh, you'll see here now, right, we're gonna individually stick in all of our letters there. Sound. This, yeah, it looks like it should be the right size that we're looking for. Uh, you can see there's like five lines in between them. Right, I've got these all cut out, and I'm gonna just fire them in individually. Okay, that took absolutely ages, but uh, I'm getting a good feeling about this. I think this might work now. So I'm just gonna, um, I left out the punctuation because like whatever, this is gonna be for like punk and hardcore bands and we'll see, you know, we don't really need much punctuation there. You can always draw it in if you want. So I'm just gonna scan this back in, uh, 600 DPI as a PDF to a memory card and I'm gonna pop that bad boy back into the PC lovely stuff right so I have put our scanned PDF into Photoshop here and opened the the template again and uh, yeah I've kind of embiggened it made it look nice and cool so we can see all the detail in these fonts and I decided I'm gonna make these real nasty so I've just got my SHM um, texture the grit texture and I'm firing it over here in black and white uh, just kind of like grunge it up a bit you know give it that extra kind of bit of nastiness we'll see how this translates once it uploads to the website but hopefully it's okay I imagine it's just gonna like vector them and make a real quick font out of it so yeah now I'm just uh, I've merged my uh, grit all onto one layer then I'm going to select my bottom layer um, refine edge and then select inverse and delete everything and just keep what I've left in the refine edge so we can see it's nice and kind of crumbly and broken and stuff now so we just upload our template back to calligrapher 
and we'll see what happens here. Hopefully uh, this is a nice smooth process. As I said, this is not ideal for making um, like real fonts, but uh, they're looking pretty cool. But for a base, uh, like this has 36 glyphs in the whole thing, like 10 numbers and 26 letters, so like this will be fine. It's just like a little, uh, a little exercise here. Yeah, it's looking pretty cool. So now we've uploaded these all in, all our characters look kind of how they should. I'm just gonna build font, just call it label font. Well, that's what I'm gonna call it. And uh, yeah, click build. Let's see how, how this turns out. Okay. Yeah. It actually looks how I was hoping it would look. Yeah, actually, I am impressed, calligraphy. Yeah. So I'm gonna just download these now and um, quickly install it and just see how it looks see if we can play play with it in Photoshop real quick make a new artboard and cool let's see what did we call it label fonts <laughs> happy days that was so easy and uh, kind of satisfying I'm glad I tried this because that yeah that was good fun now, like, that website, it's not going to be good for making any real fonts, you know. As you can see, all my characters are kind of jumbled up and up and down. But for punk stuff, like, pretty damn cool. So, uh, Calligrapher gets a big thumbs up from me right here. Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot that uh, it was flooding earlier. That was pretty nasty. Right, yeah, just to wrap up here, I'd consider that a success. Like, you're not going to be running out the door and making any, like clean sans serif style typefaces with this website it, it does exactly what it says in the tin and that is like it's a nice middleman to transfer your handwriting into like true type or open type format fairly quickly and and easily but you're getting no control over like uh, your spacing or anything it, it for something like this though like it really did work like and i'm glad i grabbed that little label maker and uh, just put this evening aside to try do this little project so uh yeah happy days cheers for watching and if you have any other ideas about um you know design tutorials or like weird little like projects um that i can make videos on uh, just like give me a shout and i'll see uh, i'll see what i can do i know uh, someone commented saying they'd love to see um uh event poster style tutorial video so that's definitely on the list i'll be making that soon but uh yeah for now thanks a mil give us now a like and subscribe and mind yourself peace out